Hey guys, welcome to Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. So I've been trying something that I really need to do. Something that's um, kind of important to me because I've missed out for a few years. Uh, there for about, I don't know, three or four years, I stayed out of touch with a lot of my friends and some of my family. Uh, I was having a rough time uh, mentally and I was in a state where I was unemployed, uh, the worst shape of my life. Um, you know, I, I was depressed. You know, I lost a friend. Uh, you know, I lost my ex, which was fine, perfectly fine. Thank God for that. Uh, but I lost everything I owned. And in the process, I basically hid away from friends and family for a few years. And some people do that. My reasoning was I did not want to be a burden to any of my friends. Uh, I didn't want to drag them down to my level. Um, the last thing you want when you feel terrible, and this is something I personally do, when I see somebody upset, the thing I want to do most is comfort them. And, you know, I like to do that. And sometimes it never really helps. It sometimes makes things worse because I'm a fixer. Uh, that's what I am, and, but some people don't want fixed. And I was in that boat of people that didn't want fixed. I, I was giving up on life. I was just like, you know, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I'll be a hermit. I'll live in a room uh, confined to my, you know, I, I, I won't do anything else with my life. And I thought like that for a while because that seemed like the best option for me. I was like, well, I've already failed at everything else, so I might as well stay a failure and not try to improve my life. And it wasn't until a couple years ago I decided to not do that anymore and try to fix my life. That's when I got a good job. I got a wife, got a car, I got a home, got married, all that stuff. Uh, got pretty much everything that I lost back, basically, except for some things, which I don't really care about anymore. Uh, I don't, I try not to surround myself with toxic people. Um, as far as things go on my relationship side with my wife, she's not a user, she's not an abuser, which is great because uh, my ex was, very much was. I, like I said, I was there for, with, for with seven years maybe and we dragged each other down. Now, I don't want to put full blame on her because, you know, it takes two to tango. But, yeah, I got it out of that mess because if I didn't, truth be told, I would not be here today. If I didn't fix things uh, then and I didn't come home, if I didn't allow my one of my really good friends that I consider one of my brothers to pick me up from Mansfield, uh, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I would. I honestly would. Uh, friendship means a lot to me. It really does. Um, which that's why it hurts so bad, like not keeping in touch with them, uh, being afraid to over encumber them with, uh, you know, my misery, my pain. I, I didn't want them to have to deal with me. Uh, you know, why would I want somebody that's already happy in life to have to endure my stuff? I know some people think that. A lot of people that's depressed, the last thing they want is to drag somebody down to that level. I know that's how I feel all the time. I, When I'm depressed, I sometimes hide. I try not to talk about it. I've been way more open about it the last few years, especially at the channel when I talk more about mental health stuff. Like, I really, I really am glad I get to talk about it and get to share it with you guys because it's, it hurts. It hurts all the time. It does. But I've been rekindling friendships that I thought I lost. Um, when you know you have good friends, these are the people that when you go back, when you say hi, they're there again. That's how you know you have good friends, that they never left. They never forgot about you. Um, some people, some friends I have had, they 
didn't want anything to do with me because I was just bringing them down. Those aren't real friends. Those are, what do they call them? Way, Wayfair friends? I don't know. I forget. I get them. Where, where they just want to be a, be with you when it benefits them. Uh, that's the kind of friends I did have. Uh, my friends I have that I've had for years are damn near family. And, you know, I feel really bad because I hid from them for so long. But I am rekindling friendships, which is great. And hopefully, hopefully I can rekindle those and we can celebrate and have fun again. And that's something I've been trying to do, so. But, yeah, if you guys got friends that, you know, you're hiding from, sometimes it might be best just to show your face and be like, hey, I'm here. I, I'm not dead. Guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.